Hello, and welcome back to Age of Empires Civilization Guide. Today, we are looking at the Persians. I apologize for how infrequent these are being. I will desperately try to make these more frequent now, from now on. So yeah, the Persians are, well, they're described as a cavalry civilization, um, but their special unit is a war elephant, as you can see here. Very noisy. Quite good for remixing. Um, but yeah, okay, so the Persians don't actually have very many special things, advantages, at all. They only have two, in fact. And that is plus 50 food and plus 50 wood, they start with. Uh, you can't really see this because I have to have the stats fairly high. And the other one is the town center and dock have times two health, which 3,600, I imagine that probably is times two HP for the standard one of those. Um, and their work rate is increased. So I assume that means that the work rate of the dock and town center. So I assume that's how quickly they build and research things. But um, in feudal age, it's plus ten percent of the normal. Uh, castle age plus fifteen, and plus and imperial age, it's plus twenty. So, there's not really a lot of ways I can demonstrate this. Um, okay, well, if I start building a fishing ship, you can see, you get a vague idea of how quick that is. And I delete this. You go to the feudal age. I think you can just about dial that a bit faster. And then if I delete this, go to the castle age, and that will be 15. I think you can just about tell. But yeah, anyway, uh, so that's... There are two things, that's the only thing I have to say. These war elephants, um, from what I remember, are very, very expensive. They're also, as you can see, extremely slow. But their attack is pretty great. Uh, they've got bonuses against all sorts of things, from what I remember. And um, they have a ton of health. 450 crazy for a unit. They are a pain in the arse to kill. Let's put it like that. I think they're weak to um, uh, pikemen again. Alright, so let's see how they're going to do in this. <laughs> Dead last. Uh, I think they're, e they're even slower than monks. That is crazy. Alright, uh, I don't think they need to finish the race, otherwise we're going to be here for years. So I'm going to leave him by the thing. The thing. The house. Remember, these are just base uh, war elephants, and um, they have 15 attack. That's a lot of attack. And not even elite ones. Right. So, I think, <laughs> dare I say, today is the day we beat the knight. I hope so, anyway. <laughs> Cue epic music. I, I don't know if I actually had any epic music. I hope I did. But, um, <laughs> yeah, let's see how this goes. Charge! They're so slow, Jesus. Look how much damage they're taking. Oh yeah! Today we beat the French knight. The wa this war elephant's gonna be able to take on all of these guys. They're... The elephants are really powerful, but they're all... They're, I think they're like 200 food and like 70 gold each or something, which is very expensive. But finally, we beat the knight with a single unit. And this guy's just going to run around. <laughs> I think they make the same noise um, when attacking things as um, rams. God, I hope the sound isn't too loud and you're just hearing me, like, constantly. Just you, All you're hearing is the elephant. That would be horrible. Hooray! Victory number two! <laughs> Such a horrible noise, Jesus. They don't even have... They only have selection noise and move noise. That's so annoying. Right. Okay, well, he's gonna run back, but I think it's pretty obvious that he would win. I'll just head him off at the pass with another elephant. <laughs> and we'll send this guy to go... Now, the Spearman's the only one who should have any benefit against him at all. These elephants. Oh, this is horrible. Jesus. <laughs> Come on, attack him! My god! 
He he duked me. Damn jukes. He's just gonna get away. What's going on? These elephants are really dumb. Jesus. My god. Okay. Um. Fine. Uh. That's not too much of a problem. I don't think. Let's just hope he doesn't start attacking my things and messing up all my triggers. He's, no, he's he's just going for a casual stroll. That that's fine. Okay. Whatever. Anyway, let's attack the bike man who should have. He's gonna. If you take down elephants, you want to use pikemen. See, they are actually taking a significant amount of health off. You'd need more than one. You'd need like ten to take on an elephant. But if you, the faster you take it out, the less damage you're gonna take from the elephant. So you know, blah blah blah, sort of thing. Uh, I don't think the archers are gonna be any good against them. The only thing they're gonna have is that the elephants are ridiculously slow. So yeah, not even gonna shoot him before he gets to you. Two, three, <laughs> three hits maybe. <laughs> this guy's getting nervous. <laughs> I want to. I don't want to go. No, please, no, no. Oh dear, poor fella. Nah, he's not even gonna fight him. Who can blame him? Look, look at that chunk of health. He's the, his armor's helping him a bit, but <laughs> he abdicated. Um, but yeah. 15 each time, it's crazy. And... D oh my god. These elephants are a little bit stupid. But against, like, buildings and stuff, they are awesome. Especially when you have, like, a herd. Yeah, a herd of them. Alright, okay, let's move on to the unique technologies that they have to, like, all of them do now. A recent update added that. Um, well, I say recent. That's probably, like, a few months ago now. They're still, they're just, they just keep, keep going, it's fine. Um, well, the last person didn't cross the line, so they can't stop. <laughs> Alright, okay, so there are two unique technologies. Uh, the first one's called Boiling Oil, uh, which gives uh, the Persian's castles extra damage versus rams, which is very useful. I don't think it adds an animation, this game isn't quite cool enough for that. <laughs> and the other one is called Mahouts, or Mahouts. I'm going to say Mahouts, because the end of it looks a bit like Shouts without the S. But yeah, it um, gives the elephants 30% bonus speed, which is good, which is really necessary. So if I do this in the Imperial Age and the two things, yep, see, slightly faster. Yeah. All right, so let's make our way along here. Now I'll tell you about the team bonus. So if you're allied with the Persians, uh, your knights have plus two attack versus archers. So that's, I guess, good, yeah. I mean, there's, there's nothing wrong with them. These ugh, waterfalls are terrible. They're just awful. Um, <laughs> in my opinion, of course. But um, still. So their architecture is uh, much like the... Oh, sorry. Uh, is much like the Turks and the um, Saracens, although we haven't come across either of those yet. So <laughs> which ones have we come across? Byzantines. Same as Byzantines. So yeah, uh, it's pretty nice. Sort of looks like a cushion on top. I don't know what that's supposed to be, but it's supposed to be like sort of a concrete or something. Yeah, so they're a uh, wonder. Pretty nice wonder. Um, not sure what it's based off of, uh, but it is really nice. Uh, <laughs> that's pretty much all I can say. I don't do my research outside of Age of Empires into this, unfortunately. Um, but I'm sure somebody in the comments knows, and they'll write it down. Really nice building, though. Uh... I'm sure I've seen it before. I can't remember. Anyway, let's have a look at the tech tree. Okay, see, but stuff. Right, so archer-wise, they can have everything in the archery range apart from the arbalist, which is the highest form of normal foot archer. They can't. They have a really bad barracks. They can't have two-handed swordsmen, which is the default um, military melee guy. And, uh, kind of champion, obviously. They can't have the Eagle Warriors section. Um, they have a full stables, but they are a cavalry civilization, so you'd expect that. Have a nearly full dock, apart from shipwright, which is fair enough, considering they get the dock bonus anyway. Uh, ships cost 20% less wood, build 35% faster. Although, 
that just means I don't know. Actually, Persians' um, bonuses really aren't very good. They're, they're just not. I mean, the the docks and um, town centers are going to survive better than most, but still, um, I don't know. Their uh, defensive buildings isn't great. They can't have a keep. Uh, I mean, having guard towers not bad. They can't have fortified walls, which is a pretty big drawback. Can't have bombard towers. So their their war elephants are basically insanely powerful, which is why they have so many drawbacks in like the tech tree wise. They can't have redemption, which allows monks to convert buildings. Can't have illumination, which generates faith faster. Yeah, fifty percent faster after a successful conversion. Uh, sanctity, I can't remember. What does that do? Monks have fifty percent more hit points, so they are harder to kill. Thank, thank you for explaining what fifty percent more hit points will achieve. Jesus. Um, atonement. Uh, I can't remember. Monks can convert enemy monks. Okay. Heresy, I think, makes it more difficult for your units to be converted. No, converted units die. Okay, so. They can't have those. Um, so they've got a pretty weak monastery. Uh, full castle. Got the unique text there as well. Full town centre. Full siege workshop apart from the siege Ornega, which is the highest in the line of Ornegas. Which is a shame because I think these are the only ones which can actually clear trees. It's very useful, especially in like maps like Black Forest and stuff. Can't have bracers, so their archers can't have the extra one point which this adds. Um, unlike the Blast Furnace, which adds two points, but um, you can get an extra point for your archers from chemistry. So, university, as we've seen, they can't have um, sort of walls or keeps. They also can't have siege engineers, which gives your buildings extra hit points. I think. Nope, that's the wrong one. It's masonry and architecture, which gives your buildings extra hit points. Siege engineers gives your um, long ranged uh, siege weapons extra range and damage, I think. Uh, kind of bombard towers. I think we've already seen that. Kind of treadmill, which allows uh, villagers to build buildings faster. Bit of a shame. And they've got everything else on full, so they've got all the uh, bonuses in um, economy. So they have quite a good economy. All right. So that's the Persians. They are technically a cavalry civilization, but you might as well just call them an elephant civilization. Um, now with the uh, expansion, there are two elephant civilizations, uh, which is nice. So yeah, I would suggest playing these if you want to... Actually, oh, wait, 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 I just want to check how much do these elephants cost again? They cost... 200 food and 75 gold, which is ridiculous. Ridiculously expensive. But yeah, um, I'd say if you want pretty much a powerhouse unit, which you can build with a good economy behind you, but you don't necessarily have all the techs, you have quite a, quite a lacking of techs really. And your base uh, advantages aren't really that good. I mean, they're good early on, I guess. Maybe? Maybe not. But yeah, uh, then the Persians are probably for you. Um, but yes, until next time, I will see you for the next civilization. Hooray! Look at this glitchy elephant. Anyway, I will see you next time. Goodbye.